organized healing. I've been in 4-H since I was 8, and I started out with home ops, but now I have French Angoras. I've had French Angoras for 4 years, and today I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about them. All right, Morgan, so what is extremely important about your barn? With French Angora cages? Yes. Um, so it's important to have a wire bottom cage and not to have an open cage, because if you have an open cage, all of the shavings and litter will get in their hair, which isn't good. So you need wire bottom cages. Also, you need to make sure there isn't any wet spots in the cage or their hair will get all matted up which isn't good, and also that there's no holes in the cage because that could rip their hair out, cause matting. Now, do you put them in a small cage or a larger cage? Um, they need a larger cage because they're big animals, like lots of hair and they need their room. Okay, so um, this guy was a convention hopeful. And since convention is not happening now, which we're all very disappointed, we, um, we're going to shave him down and he's going to make some babies. This is my French Angora buck. He's a steel. And we were going, he was, we we're going to cut him down today because that convention isn't happening. And what I like about him is I like his dense wool. I also like that he's a bigger buck because our herd tends to be smaller and we need larger bucks to get a bigger herd. Also, I like the, his peak and he has a nice solid body underneath all of this wool. Tips for grooming is that you start at the bottom and you work around the outskirts of the rabbit. Be careful not to pull on it too much. And if you see any pilling, you just hold on to it and you brush it so it doesn't rip out the density in the wool. And you do that on the underside, correct? You brush the underside. Yes. You do brush blow the underside the also too, yes. right? Um, Make sure to get the armpits like that. Yeah, armpits are definitely the part that gets the most matted. matted. Mm -hmm. The booty, the booty and the arm, armpits and um, around the cheeks, where the cheeks, any type of friction, that's where it gets matted the most. And have you ever groomed this rabbit before, Morgan? No. It was meant to be cut down, so we haven't oh. ever groomed it before. So he has just been chilling in a cage, yep. waiting for the cut down date of June 1st for convention. Um, the important part about Angoras is you want to be able to not groom them if they don't have to. And what makes that happen is an abundance of guard hair so they should it almost should fit together like a zipper the guard hair the crimp and the under wool and if you have all that together it really shouldn't get matted on the top at all it just kind of all fits together and you are able to do that if you have an angora that mats very easily that would be something we would a hundred percent call from our herd that is not the correct fur type um, you should be able to go periods of time without being groomed. And if you have the correct wool, that's not a problem. As Morgan, as this rabbit is seven months old and has never been groomed before, but yet it has very, very little matting just around the cheeks and his armpit. And that's about it. So if Morgan blows into the coat, she'll actually show you the crimp and, uh, If you can see that. See how dense the coat is, but yet it actually has 
um, it has so much crimp that it just kind of fits together like a zipper. So I'm gonna take the blower and I will work from the bottom of the rabbit to the top. And don't ever hold it too close to the rabbit because that they'll, all the fur will come in and it'll mat. And shape the wool down with clippers or the scissors or you could pluck it out because the second coat is coming through so it's all just dead hair and you can pull it out you can kind of see the second coat coming in can you demonstrate how easy it is to pluck out when it's good it's really easy to pluck out you can just pull it out we shave our rabbits because it's much easier than plucking. But if you are a fiber artist, you prefer yes. plucked because it'll be in one absolute solid piece. When you clip it, you come up with little tiny pieces occasionally and they don't spin well. So mm -hmm. you do try to um, pluck if it's prime wool. And this is a first coat, so it's a little softer, yes. has less guard hair, um, but it's extremely easy to pluck right now. So we have been plucking, and that's just about five minutes of plucking. It's about an ounce of raw Angora, which goes for about $20 on Etsy an ounce, um, which is a nice profit. Um, Morgan, what did um, the master Angora groomer, Eric Stewart, tell you once that you have never forgotten? He told you, he told me. <laughs> I did. <laughs> He told me to always make sure their nails are clipped because if their nails aren't clipped, he can tell like a rabbit that hasn't had his nails clipped because his hair will be tattered and its nails will rip it. So it's very important to clip its nails. So now we're shaving down the rabbit. We used a special shear because dog shears don't shear down the rabbit. So it has a really fine blade. And this uh, shear actually cuts through the fur like almost like butter. Um, and I would say every five angoras that she does, she has to got she has to um, maybe five to ten angoras. She'll have to get a new blade or unless her daddy uses it for his beard and then we'll have to do a new blade right away. Now he is all shaved down and we removed his coat. What do you like about his body? I like how solid he is. Which, what uh, type of body do they have underneath there? They have um, a commercial body type. Mm-hmm. Awesome. And how long did it take you to shear him? Um, it took us about 30 minutes, maybe. We're not really good at it. It no. takes us a little bit of time. Yeah. Can you show them the bag of the amount, the yellow bag that we harvested? We harvested a bag. That is entirely one rabbit, one grocery bag full, and then it'll go to process. This is, so, all the wool we got from the rabbit we just shaved down, bag full of wool, mm -hmm. and this is yarn that we just got back, like this. 
so that is Morgan's first year uh, in Angora's um, that um, we, sh we um, have processed. Um, that is half of Morgan's Angora's and half of an Angora goat pelt that she was gifted. And it is soft, super, super soft. Um, it's undyed, so we have to learn, we have to dye it ourselves. Um, we also have three other years of Angora sitting in um, grocery bags in the um, our storage shed because it is absolutely not cheap to get um, Angora's processed, but it is Blue Mountain Fiber Mail does a beautiful job. Um, so that is one, you have to have a certain amount to run the machine and we had just enough with that. So um, Morgan, leading up to a big show, how often do you have to groom your Angoras? You have to groom them three times a week for five weeks before the show. And how long does it take you for a rabbit to groom them? About 15 minutes. So that's a big commitment during the year, school year. Um, what is your favorite thing about raising Angoras? My favorite thing about raising Angoras is all of the hair. <laughs> Even though it takes so much time? Yeah, and the people I've met, things like that. Do you, um, what, any big wins for you? Yes, I won Best of Breed at convention. Mm -hmm. And then I won Best in Show three out of the four times at New York Grand Finals. Wow, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks so much. We learned a lot.